Hi, welcome to our video. Today we're going to demonstrate a Blanchard Model 1116 rotary surface grinder. This particular machine has some unique features that I want to tell you about. Um, this is a really nice machine with low hours on it in very, very nice shape. I personally went and saw this machine when we purchased it to buy, and we noticed that the, all the original scraping is on the column. Um, the people that had it did not use it that much, and they told us so much, and you could tell when we got it. The, only, the worst thing on the machine really was the paint job, so it has been freshly painted, um, but it's in really nice shape. Uh, it's got a Sony digital readout, which is kind of unusual for, for a Blanchard, um, and it does, of course, work. Um, you got to run it up and down. I'm doing it manually now just to show you. It does work. Um, it also has the uh, neutrifier for the magnet um, on and residual. Turn that on for you. The green light tells you it's on. It does have the safety interlock feature. If the magnet is not on, the chuck will not start, nor will the spindle. Also, this machine has the Trabon lubrication system. It was on here when we got it. The pump works fine. The two grease manifolds were frozen when we got it. One of the only problems this machine had, and we've just replaced them with two brand new units. With every pump of the lever now, everything is getting grease. All of the ways, the motor bearings, um, the table ways, the whole shooting match. Um, it's good to go. It has a four-speed gearbox. And of course, the incremental feed down, like all Blanchards do, where you can pull the lever and it will feed down anywhere from one and a half to 71 thousandths per minute. I'm going to start it up for you right now. That's our chuck rotation. It's in low gear, but it has all four gears, like I said. We'll start up the spindle. This is a cylindrical wheel that we've mounted a, a new general purpose wheel on. I'm going to take the guards off just so you can see it. It's got the cylindrical wheel, which is brand new, and the wheel holder, of course. Uh, this particular machine, even though it has a cylindrical wheel, has the dresser built in. A lot of machines with the cylindrical wheel, they don't use the dresser. They'll use a table-mounted dresser. But this one is here and ready to go. Uh, let me see. You can turn the incremental. Oh, uh, well, hold on. Let me show you. Power up and down. The load meter does work. Of course, it's on zero because the spindle is just idling now. It's not actually grinding parts. We can turn our feed down on. I'm going to set it here for somewhere in the middle, 26 thousandths per minute. Engage it, and it begins feeding, as you can see. It'll feed down to zero and stop. Going to shut it off. Rapid your wheel up. This machine also has uh, its own separate cooling system. It's not here in the video. It has its own separate tank that comes with the machine and its own pump. The pan here on the end dumps right into the tank. Table goes in and out like it's supposed to. Manually, of course. Um, that's about it. I think I've covered everything. Thanks for watching our video.